Hey, I'm Mark Rothman, Progress Coach. Thanks for checking out one of my new series items, Hot Takes, where I give a you know, short perspective on things happening in the news today. So today what I want to talk about is the slap, the Will Smith slap. Do, do I need to say anything else? I don't think so. Let's get right into it. Now, first off, I want to say Chris Rock was off base. It's fine to make fun of the rich and famous. It's fun. It's fine to take the mickey on them, as you say in British. It's fine to poke fun at them. It's fine to really probe them. It, it's both a reminder, by the way, of their power, because you're only making fun of me because I'm powerful and rich and have accomplished a tremendous amount. And it also it establishes their humanity and it creates an opportunity for connection. That's really what those jokes are about. Those jokes are about. Here's the problem. The joke is unfair when it's about something someone can't control, like a medical condition. The joke about Jada Pinkett Smith was about her medical condition that causes her to lose her hair in patches. And probably for her own self-esteem, she decided to shave her head and control her disease in that way. More power to her. Take care of herself. Make herself feel as beautiful as she can. Great. I'm with her 100%. I'm not with Chris Rock on that joke. That was off limits. But here's where Will Smith really lost. He could have turned this incident into a major social capital moment. He instead gave it away literally with a slap of a hand. And as, as you know, he has like no social capital. If you want to see what I'm talking about, check out Saturday Night Live skit of two seat holders who are sitting behind Will Smith at the moment he does the slap. It's, it's brilliant in the way it shows how distant people want to be from him now that he has transgressed, now that he has resorted to violence, when there were multiple other reactions. So let's get into that. What could Smith have done to maintain his power, to maintain his authority, his righteousness? What if he just looked at his wife and said, you know what, honey, this is bullshit. We are out of here. And he'd left the room. And the minute he got outside the doors of the academy where they were, of the Dolby Theater where they're recording, he could have run up to the first microphone and he said, Chris Rock just made fun of the handicap. Make fun of me, make fun of my wife, make fun of our, our fame, even make fun of our beauty. Because that again is something that we can, you know, we can handle that. Don't make fun of our medical conditions. Don't make fun of our weaknesses, the things we can't control. It's no different than making fun of somebody in it with a handicap, somebody with a prosthesis saying, you know, look at that cane, look at that crutch. That was, that was completely inappropriate. And if Will Smith had done that, everybody would be on his side. Chris Rock would be the one apologizing. Chris Rock would be the one with his, you know, tail between his legs. Should Chris Rock have then had to resign from the Academy the way Will Smith has? No, of course not. It was a bad joke. It was a poor choice. We're human. Move on. Chris Rock is a pro. We would do that. Okay. But that would have just shifted everything to Will Smith. But here's the other problem with it. Why didn't he leave the room? Because he wanted to stay around for his award, right? He didn't say to himself, no award is degrading, is worth degrading my wife. That's where he didn't draw the line. And in some ways, as many commentators have, have, comment, have commented, the, the slap and his kind of valiant, I protect my family stance has actually degraded his wife even more than that bad joke has. And, you know, and taken away her power and her authority to protect herself, to come out in front of the microphone and say, Chris Rock, make fun of me, make fun of my beautiful green dress, my wealth, whatever you want. Don't make fun of, of alopecia because when you do that, you're insulting everybody with some kind of medical condition. Okay, enough on the medical condition. I've said that. So that's, so that's the other thing. The other part that's problematic is when we first see Will Smith in the, in the video replays of what happened, he's laughing at the joke. And then we, think, we see him react to his wife's look. And now he's in double trouble because he's got to prove something to his wife. That may have been what provoked him to the slap. And, and I want to also say that this was not really a, a, moment, a moment, momentary reaction because think about that. Will Smith had a long time to walk up to Chris Rock. Enough for Chris Rock to say, whoa, look who's coming. And, and that's where, that's another breakdown for me. If you have that much time between the insult and your reaction, you have planned it out. You have decided violence is going to be my course here. So, so that's the other problem. And, and then the last thing is I want, and there are two last things actually. The first last thing is I want to say 
the, the, that self-serving six-minute speech. Actually, there are three last things. This is getting to be like, no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Our chief weapon is surprise. Surprise and fear. Fear and surprise are two weapons. Our fear and surprise and ruthless efficiency are three weapons. Our fear and surprise and ruthless efficiency and an almost fanatical devotion to the Pope are four. No. <laughs> Amongst our weapons. Um, the, the first last thing is that self-serving speech that I want to be a river of love. And, you know, no, a river of love does not get out of his chair, walk 30 feet thinking about what he's going to do, position himself like Muhammad Ali, like he was trained to do when he did that biopic, and, you know, <laughs> and, and give the guy, you know, hit him upside the head, which is what he did. That is not a river of love. So that's bullshit. You know, let's be honest here. That's bullshit. The second last thing is... How come when Will Smith came back to his chair, no one in the audience reacted? Yeah, people were stupefied. They couldn't believe what they'd just seen. I get that. But someone didn't stand up and say, this is bullshit. That was a bullshit joke, Chris. This is bullshit that you just slapped someone on live TV, Will Smith. Everybody is trying to play by these celebrity rules according to this game of propriety. And no one wants to say the emperor has no clothes. That was the problem. We knew he was going to win the Academy Award, and, and they just they couldn't, they couldn't get it past it and say, Will Smith, you just took off. You just showed us you have no clothes on. No one could say that. Not right there in the moment. So th that's the other thing. And then the last, last thing, what, what's with that standing ovation? Really? This guy slaps someone on live TV, resorts to violence, gives this self-serving speech. I'm, you know, I'm like my character. I defend my family. Really? He can't, you know, was that the right thing? That self-serving thing was, was what he said? And they give him a standing ovation? That was bullshit too. It, it only goes to show that to a great extent, the Academy Awards is a, 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 an event of the rich and famous, making each other more rich and famous, and patting each other on the back and saying what great people we are for doing this. That's, in the Academy, you know, you want to get to the last, last, last point here? The Academy is concerned why, you know, viewership is down. 15 million viewers watched this year over like 9 million last year. Great improvement, but not up to the numbers where it used to be. Maybe it's because people are seeing that this overall picture has no clothes. Their emperor has no clothes. This is not a compelling event anymore. Seeing all of this bullshit that goes on. And, and maybe that's ultimately what Will Smith did, is that he just pulled the rug out from under this entire enterprise, showed how it's built on just quicksand. And, and, and to, a certain people, to a certain extent, people are disgusted with it. They're disgusted with him. They're not disgusted with Chris Rock, who responded with incredible poise and dignity. And, and, and that just goes to show the power of our powerful diplomatic responses. And, and, and again, it just reinforces for me my first point. The powerful diplomatic protest response would have been for, for Will Smith to take Jada's hand and say, I can't sit here and watch people make fun of your disease. We are out of here. And then, again, broadcast his decision. So that's my quick take on the Will Smith slap. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of my YouTube channel, Mark Rothman Progress Coach. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I'll see you in the next video.